Welcome back you guys, my name is Game Boy, and today is Game Boy Ready Play, it's called Scooby-Doo, and I don't know what we're gonna be doing, I'm guessing that we're gonna be fighting a sub-boss, I'm not really sure, but if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do, of course, but we have to make sure that I, we don't go into the, like, water or anything, because if we do, then we have to really make sure that the cloud isn't hovering over, because we can get hurt by the cloud, so... We have to be very cautious on what we're doing, so then we don't get electrocuted, so... Yep, we have to be so very cautious here, so we don't get hurt or anything. So, did I get everything that I'm supposed to do here? Before I can go and... Okay, so it looks like I've gotten everything, so I can just go and do this. And, okay, so I go right first, then I go left. Makes sense. Oh, seriously, so I'm supposed to hurry up and do this quickly? How was I supposed to know it did it? Okay, can we please just have this work for us? This game loves to do stuff like this to where you have to do stuff that's fast. You have to do stuff that is fast, but at the same time, very precision. But at least it's very well made, so... Do, like having it once in a while not that bad having it like be only once in a while to where you have to be like very fast and everything then that makes a lot of sense instead of having it to be to where you have to do it all the time you only have to do that a little bit of the time so yeah, at least that's a good point on this game okay can we not fall down apparently because apparently we I get that I need the plunger boots and everything to be able to do it, but serious. Okay, what was I supposed to do there? What was I really supposed to do there? Really? Yes, I get it. I get what you're afraid of, Scooby. We all understand. You and Shaggy are the scaredy cats of the team and everything. So now when that cutscene ends, I have to immediately come over to... They don't even give you enough time to do this. They don't... Okay, can we please just do this? Okay, so apparently... We're supposed to just get hit by the enemy right there. Ugh. Certain ele elements of this game can make it very frustrating, but... At least it's not as frustrating in every part of this game to make it unplayable. That's at least the best thing. At least it's not too unbearable to where it's unplayable. It's just really... It's just really frustrating in certain areas, not every area. So that just makes it a lot more tolerable. Because games can make it a lot harder in certain other areas, but at least I'm glad that it's not super duper hard in this area so okay so what does this open okay so it opens the door I don't know exactly for what okay so there's a box of Scooby Snoo okay can we at least jump okay okay can we jump properly I, I really hate that the slopes make it so you can't jump I understand later in the game it makes it a lot easier because that's what you're supposed to have happen because basically you'll have the plunger boots and everything but for until you get the plunger boots jumping on slopes are makes it very very hard to do okay so yeah so basically I wasn't really supposed to do that so now I understand, so basically what I did was an exploit to make it so I was able to get there before going onto the ramp and onto the flying carpet, so. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go and save Shaggy from the tribal person thing, so. That's gonna be a thing. And can we at least move properly, Scooby? Uh. Okay, so. Okay, let's talk to you. Let's see what you need. Um, okay. Okay, let's just get this done. Okay, thank you. Now, exactly what do I do? 
what exactly do I do because now I've saved Shaggy and I do exactly what do I do tramp do I do a trampoline thing with him okay so yeah I'm guessing I'm get the umbrella over here I'm not really sure on what I get but I'm guessing I get the umbrella I hope I get something that will allow me to do stuff Okay, so I will have to, I guess, stand on this? Okay, n I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do here, so... I'm just gonna follow this, I guess? Um, yeah. Okay, thank you for changing perspective. The perspective finally changed and allowed me to see what I needed to do. Oh, so I'm just able to now come up to here. Great, so where do I go from here? Am I supposed to already have the umbrella or something? Because I think that's what I need to get up here. Because that's the only other thing that I can say that Scooby will be, would be using in a situation to where he would do stuff. So, if this is world... If this is based on the world, then I would say umbrella, but I'm not really sure on exactly what I'm supposed to do. Oh, so I was supposed to come down here when it never once told me I had to, so... Uh, certain things in this uh, does not make that much sense, but I... Oh, so Shaggy comes and does that. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense on what Shag why the plot things right here. Why is it Shaggy and not like anyone else in the gang? Like, why is it just Shaggy that I have to do this with? Like, how many keys do I have? Is there a way to do it? Like, is there a result screen or something? I hate that there isn't a result screen that tells you because it should at least tell me. Okay, so am I able to? Yes, thank you. Thank you for at least entering the door. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to jump right here, so I'm guessing I'm going to get the plunger boots or some, or I'm going to get something. And I'm guessing that right here is going to be like some boss, so it's going to, yeah. <laughs> ah, the infamous Scooby-Doo. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the mastermind. Well, I'm the reason you're here. Who are? I'm the one who made Professor Graham disappear. Well, Dad? I'm also the one who's brought back all of your old foes. But why? That is a mystery you will never solve. And one more thing, I'm the one who's kidnapped all your friends. <laughs> Wilma! Scooby-Doo! See if you can get past this fiendish fright. You remember the Black Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Wilma, he disappeared. We'll worry about that later, Scooby. Watch out! It's the Black Knight. No, no. <laughs> so basically, I'm basically supposed to go and electrocute him. I guess I'm not really sure, but that's what I'm guessing that is going to happen. Um, of course. I really don't understand what exactly I'm supposed to do here, but it just looks like what I'm doing here is something that I'm supposed to, I guess, do. So am I just supposed to like find a pattern or something? Because if so, then I'll find the pattern. Okay, so I will have to hit the button and everything when... Okay, I, I swear to see. Okay, so I'm gonna have to run away, and I sort of understand what I'm supposed to do. I get it. So, 
I have to wait for the Black Knight and Scooby to be in the same area, so then, yeah, makes sense. Okay, so I have to now make sure that I'm able to do this once more. Grab this sandwich, because I can. Okay, run. Do not really want to get hit by the flying axes, so I, I do only have, like, one more I have to do. So that's at least the best thing right here, so... As long as I know how to exactly do this, then I will be doing this correctly, if I can. I don't really know how much... Okay, so I can do this if I don't get hit anymore, and there. Too easy. I understand why they made it very easy to do, but very, very too easy. But I hope I get something that allows me to go up the tar. My glasses! Help me look for them, Scooby! Okay! Something fishy's going on here, Scooby. We solved the mystery of the Black Knight ages ago. Have you found any clues? Well, I don't know. There was a spooky groundskeeper. A spooky groundskeeper? Yeah, and ghosts and, and monsters. Scooby-Doo, you know there's no such thing as monsters and ghosts. Remember the first time we met the Black Knight? We thought he was a monster, but really he was just a guy in a mask. Aha! I found him! Jinkies! The lenses got knocked out! Where's some lenses, Velma? Thanks, Scooby. I can't see a thing without these. Jinkies! Scooby! It's the Creeper! The Creeper? Where? He's, he's everywhere! Run, Scooby! Velma! Wait! I don't see any Creeper. Hello. I'm Professor Alexander Graham. <laughs> and you found one of my amazing invention crates. Let's see now. What's in this one? Uh, oh, here we go. Well, inside this box, you should either find my automated herring scraper or my anti-stick galoshes. Oh, looks like it's the galoshes. With these, you can walk across any sticky surface and not get stuck. And best of all, <laughs> they're banana flavored. Oh, banana. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> These might be useful. So basically, someone tampered with her glasses to make it look like she saw the creeper and everything. So then, she wouldn't be here. So then, she wouldn't be able to help us and help us solve the mystery and everything, I guess. So, okay, makes some sense on what I'm doing here. So, of course... So let's just get on with what we need to move on with because we gotta do what we need to do here. Okay. Okay. Hey! Uh, okay, you need to just... Yep. Okay, so now that I actually now have the, um... The token and everything, I can now go back to the area. I don't know what collecting the token really gets me other than the special stuff within the... Um, monster token area, the library full of the tokens where you're able to get some history and stuff about the monsters and all that. So, am I able to now go on to these? Really? I fall all the way back down in an area where I don't really would need to be down here. Great! All I now need to do is make sure that I can get back up to where I need to go and not get hurt because if I get- Okay! Can we at least get this over with to where I know- Okay. I know how to do this. I've already done it once, so I should be able to do it again. I just don't understand why I can't do it now. Okay, so where do I need to now go? Because I've basically been almost everywhere, but I still need to go and... Oh, wait, I know where I need to go. Duh. So I need to go and right now, if I'm able to, I'm able to, I guess, come over... No, wait. Yeah, I'm able to go over to here, I guess. I'm not really sure, but I'm guessing now that I have the boots and everything, I'm now 
Not, not over here. I meant like over. Here. I know where I need to go. It's just I forget where the location of where I need to go is. I don't even know if this is the right area where I need to go. Oh wait, I need to go here. Oh wait, really? I haven't unlocked any place other than this one in the in the um dock area. Interesting. Now that I understand where to go. Okay, good. So now I go here and find the f stuff here. Ah, oh, of course, the conveyor belt. That's exactly what we need, the conveyor belt. Not really one, something that I'm really good with. Good lord. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This, this area has the soapy floors. Great. So I do have to be careful here because if I'm not, then I can fall and die. No, not die, but get afraid and I can get hurt. And I do not really want to get hurt here because if I do get hurt, then that's not going to turn out to be good in any sense of the word of good. Okay, jump. Keep jumping, Scooby, because... Okay, so there's still more flying fish here. Okay. Okay, so if I get hit at least once, then that's not going to be good. Okay, stop for a second. Wait, go a little bit slow. Wait, go slow, slow, slow. And now burst the head. Dumb. Okay, was I supposed to do something like that or no? Doesn't really look like I was supposed to do that. Um, I do know that I did see a monster token here, so I can, if I want to, I can go get that, but I do first have to get my way across the conveyor belt so then I can go and do what I need to do here. But at least I'm... Okay, can we not have the flying fish be in the same direction or same location where I, where Scooby falls or something? Because that would be fantastic. Okay, and just make it, Scooby. Just go. Just go, and thank God I was able to do that, because if I had to go from all the way at the beginning of the conveyor belt to over here, then that would have not been good. Great, so I have four keys I have to do, and have, so then I can then enter that. So, great, more platforms that I need to go on. Not exactly the best, but okay. Let's get rid of the diver because I really don't need to deal with the diver right now. Okay, get onto this platform. Let's see what we need to do, and let's try not to fall. Falling, not the best thing in this. Great. Oh, 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 oh. did not realize that coming down here was something that I needed to do. Did not realize coming down was a thing I needed to do. So good thing that I did fall down because by falling down apparently you're able to get keys to open doors so in the next area I will need to fall down but also stay on the platform so then I can get the fourth key because I do see there's one on the ground already. There's already one that I can see that's already down on the ground so Oh, oh wait, is that a key or a witch? Yeah, it's a key. So I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to right now do that because I will need to get that key first that's over here, so... Yes, Scooby, can you at least work with me here? Okay, you need to do that. Okay, go over here, let's bash this button because I, I actually really don't know what that button does. Oh wait. It did something really good. Did something really good. Okay, good. Now that I press that button, I can get you because I really don't need you to be here. Okay, going back, going back. Making sure that I don't get hit. Okay, anything that... So, I there's a button that I need to press that's over here. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that there's gonna be like a button or something that's over here that I need to press. That I'm just not seeing. 
or do I just go and jump onto the that onto the platform and then I'm able to go up okay so jumping onto the platform is just all I needed to do to get up so that makes a lot of sense so okay so bouncing on top of the heads of the crabs makes more sense so let's get to the end area because now I can right now I am able to right now go and do the um the door I can now activate the door if I need to so I can do that so let's just try not to fall too far from what my location of where I need to go because if I do that then then that's not gonna be good but I'm fine right here and wait okay good so there is something right here that allows me if the platforming was not so slippery I'm just really glad that there's nothing that really holds back the slipperiness and it's just like a obstacle and everything at least the obstacle isn't too terrible to where I have to do it better but okay how many of these areas do I really have to go through before I'm able to go outside and do other stuff okay how much um, okay, so let's just keep going, apparently, okay, now hit you, try not to fall, because falling, not the best, okay, have you spin, then jump this way, then wait for the spin once more, then go this way, then, oh good lord, really just do not want to fall right here, so, being very very cautious because I cannot see where my perspective is the perspective right there was not so obvious so I need to be very careful on what I'm doing and also right here because I do not want to fall and that is a teeter-totter like platform so a teetering totter platform is not exactly the platform I really want. Okay, good. I will collect the Scooby Snacks, but later when I need to collect the Scooby Snacks. I, at this moment, I really don't need to be collecting the Scooby Snacks, so I'm not gonna be collecting them as much because I really don't need them because I just do not need to, but I do need to make sure that I can do the platforming. Okay, can I at least get the platforming done? Because the platformer right here is not working in my favor. Okay, where exactly do I go? If anywhere. Okay, let's jump on. Okay, okay, okay. What was I supposed to do there? Uh, if I have to, I have to. But exactly, where do I go? If anywhere. Oh, so I'm supposed to go down... I guess in the middle, I guess, and then open a Scooby Snack um, entrance, I guess. I'm not really sure, but let's just try that. Okay, so it is okay if I fall right here, that's not going to be good. So let's open the warp gate, and then let's do the um, Scooby Snack entrance, and then let's just go through the door. Now that I have actually done what I needed to do, that's going to be very, very, very helpful in the area. So, exactly what area did I go and land in? I hope not too different, because if it's a different area than what I know of, then that's not going to be good. So, let's just... Okay, so there's a flying fish. For some reason, I just can't kill. Even though I was able to kill the flying fish before. Or was I? I'm not really sure if I was able to, but I do know that I sort of think I was able to. So let's sneak on this point. Okay, now jump. Need to get you killed. Okay, so anything exactly over here that I'm able to do. So I am able to go to the lighthouse and do what I need to do here. Or I'm able to go to the fisherman's warp that's over here, apparently. Okay, so what's this? Okay, so... What area is this leading me to? Like, oh, to the mystery machine. Was I at all supposed to be here? 
Ow! Um, okay. So, that's a thing. So, I'm not really sure if I get any extra goodies by going to the monster gallery. So, it's just a good thing to... Okay, did I get... Nope, I didn't get the creeper. Did I get the werewolf? I'm not really sure if I did. Okay, no, I didn't. So, I'm gonna be unlocking the ones that I have been getting. Okay. I really don't remember which ones. I do know that I haven't gotten the witch or the muck monster. Have I gotten this one? Nope. But I will be collecting... I will be opening and doing this. So, after I'm done, then I will be... Going back to the fishman area. The, the warp where I was, and then... Yeah. Okay, so now that I'm able to do the stuff I'm able to do over here with the because now I have the boots and everything, that's gonna be very, very handy to do. So I'm just really glad that now that I have the boots and everything, I'm able to now just do stuff over here and I'm able okay, so you I have to hurt because I really do not want to get hurt myself. So is this where I was before yes yes it was so now that I'm able to come over to here I'm now able to do more stuff so what am I able to do now that I have the boots because it looks like I did what I needed to do but I haven't been able to collect anything other than the boots or progress any farther than collecting the boots and everything in this area am I is that the only other thing that is here and everything like did i collect everything because i know from the map and everything there's still more areas that i can go because there's more in the fisherman village and everything and there's the lighthouse like do i go to the lighthouse and everything instead of doing what i was supposed to do or something because if i need to go to the lighthouse then i will go to the lighthouse but I'm just not really sure if that's where I need to go, because if that's where I need to go and the lighthouse is an area where I need to go, then I will go there. But I'm not really sure exactly, but if it's something that I have to do, then I will do it. But not exactly what I would want, because then that means that I would have to track all the way back over there. And that's not going to be a good thing. Wait, am I able to come down onto this? Um, okay, so I'm able to do that, so I'm going to have to do some major platforming on that to be able to progress, I guess. I'm not really sure, but let's try it, because it seems like it's an area where it's going to be good. I just have to be very cautious on what I am doing, and I will have to be sort of fast, because... Okay, so this is just an area to get Scooby Snacks. Okay, so it's just an area to get Scooby Snacks, so it's not really an area where I will need to go right now, but let's try the lighthouse. I'm not really sure, but that seems like the best solution in the area. But if it's not, then I can wait. Okay, so there is something that I was able to do right there, because it wouldn't allow me to jump off the edge if I wasn't allowed. Okay, so there is something there. I just have to be very careful on doing it, I guess. So let's just now move on, apparently. Okay, destroy those boxes because I technically do need to. And then let's just get over to here. Don't fall, Scooby. Because if you do fall, then that means that that's not going to be good. That's just not going to be good if you do fall. So let's just continue on. Um, okay, so that's a thing that I can get onto. Okay, so down there is where it starts and everything, so I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to do that platforming section, because if I am, then I will do it, but I'm not going to enjoy it, but I'm going to do it. But and let's try to go to the fisherman, the, to the lighthouse. Let's try to go to the lighthouse, because it seems like that's where I need to go now. I'm not really sure, but that's what it seems like I need to do. So, yeah, let's just continue on, and let's just go. Because 
it seems like this is where I need to go, like, yeah, by going this way, it seems like I'm gonna be able to do, get to more areas, so, by going this way, it's a good idea, I'm guessing, because other areas seem like I'm not gonna be able to go there. I'm guessing that I'm gonna get, like, some bounce ability, because this area does seem a lot from... It, this area does seem very familiar to the other area where I wasn't able to go because I needed the bounce for the 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 thing that makes you bounce on stuff and all that I needed to grab that to be able to I need to grab that ability is what I'm trying to say but let's just continue on okay so what exactly do I do Okay, so I'm supposed to come up to here, I mean, and I'm, okay, so I am supposed to come up, okay, so I am supposed to come up to here and do it, but, okay, thank you for giving me a checkpoint, that's just the best idea for this game to do, so, it looks like I'm able to get something up there, so I'm gonna have to find a way to get up there. But for right now, I'm gonna have to not be able to because it's just not gonna allow me to. Okay. Looks like there's something... Okay, so I will need to be collecting keys to be able to do this. So I will be needing to collect a bunch of keys to be able to enter the next area. I don't know how many I will need, but I do know that I need one more. Okay, good. Just destroy all the boxes because destroying boxes makes it a lot easier. And it looks like if I get the the super jump, I'm able to get up to there and go somewhere. So that's cool. So let's just keep moving on because moving on is some the only way I can go from here. So as long as I keep moving on, that can help in the long run. I just hope I'm able to get another ability somewhere along the way because if I'm not then what what am I exactly going towards right now if anything because there are a lot of um why are there a lot of bomb sounds it sounds like there's going to be a lot of bombing sounds it sounds like there's a lot of things dropping and I don't know why but it just does sound like a lot of things are dropping oh Okay, that's why it sounds like a lot of things are dropping, because those boxes are dropping, and I need to make sure that I don't get hit by one, or crushed by one. Great. So, I go to where now? Great, so more platforming on stuff that I'm not very familiar with, so that's what I'm gonna have to be doing. So, wait for the flying fish. Wait again, and go. Okay, so I'm gonna have to platform my way over to here. Make sure that I don't get hit, because if I do, then that's not gonna be good. Okay, so the, the fish lady thing is over there, so I'm gonna have to collect that if I wanna open the, unlock the 3D model of the character. Okay, can I just do this properly without having to retry this area? Because it seems like a pretty big area if, to me. Okay, let's just go. Try not to make this any harder than it has to be. Okay, so I will need to bounce onto that button and then everything. Okay, where am I? Okay, so in the next area, I... So in the next area, I will be needing to go and unlocking the warp gate so then I can go and get what I need to do done um oh the groundskeeper's over here what is he gonna give me what's he gonna say what is he uh, going to say um okay so what 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 do I do? Yeah, no duh, I need to float like a feather, but 
it's not like I have anything that allows me to do that. I'm guessing that I'm gonna get some sort of umbrella at, at some point, but I'm not really sure. But let's just keep going forward because forward is the only option I actually have. And I cannot go any further. Great. That's helpful. So, okay, so exactly how do I do this? Like, do I, am I just supposed to, like, run? Okay, so yeah, I'm just supposed to, okay, hit you, so then you get dazed and then knocked out because I really just need you to disappear. Okay, let's go. Okay, run, Scooby, run, because I need you to. Okay, keep going, keep doing this, and you get hit. I do that, and let's see. Okay, so there's another area over here. I really don't know what I am exactly going towards. Okay, the lighthouse. Great. Fantastic. So, the lighthouse is something that I need to go to. Great. And I'm guessing that I will need to race that up towards, race it up, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna do that quickly, if I'm able to. Okay, so I'm gonna have to race it. I'm guessing, just go, just keep running, Scooby, just keep on running. Run around, whatever you need. Keep going, Scooby, I don't care if you run out of... Uh, I don't mind if you run a little low on your health. I don't care. I just need you to go fast up to here. Okay, good. Okay, so now I have the Super Smash ability, so I can go and do that. So it was a good thing that I raced it up here, so I am very glad that I did. So then I got that ability. So... Now I'm able to go into one of the areas that I wasn't able to go in before, so that's the best thing that I can now say that is good. So now that I have the ability to do the Super Smash ability and everything, this time I don't even need to pick up an orb to do my Super Smash and everything. All I now, uh, all I do need to do is jump and smash. I don't even need to go and have to hit an orb until it smashes open, breaks open, and then I'm able to do my super smash. So that's just... Okay, you get killed, even though I could not see you before in, until... Okay. Grab... Okay, don't need the sandwich. Okay, you fish lady, I need you not to be there. And I just keep running and... Oh, what's down here? Maybe something that uh, allows me to do something, I'm not really sure, but... Oh, oh, th this is not good, this is not good, this is not good in any sense of the word of good. Okay, good. <laughs> um... Okay, don't want to fall. Anything I can do up here that is helpful or... Useful? Apparently not. Apparently, nothing there is useful to me right now, so... Okay, so the water has disappeared. Oh, good lord. Really just did not want to fall into the chasm right there and have to start this over with, but anyway. Any helpful information that you can give me or no? Okay, okay, so let's just, yeah, um, yeah, okay, let's just go back to the mystery machine because I know the next area I need to go to, but it's just better if I go to the, back to the mystery machine because I can then re-heal on my, my hits and everything, and then that's gonna be good if I re-heal on my hits, but yeah, that's gonna just be a very good thing, but I will be doing what I need to do next episode, I will be going to the, um, one area where I needed to do my Super Smash ability on the button, 
and then entering the gate area and then doing what I need to do there. But I'm just going to leave this episode here and I'm just going to go. See ya! If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give me a like, subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next video.